Hello and welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on the WooCommerce Product Importer plugin. If you're looking to save hours of tedious data entry and quickly populate your store with both simple and variable products, you're in the right place. Today, I'll walk you through everything from installation to running your first successful import. This powerful plugin enhances productivity by reducing the time to set up products considerably. Once you install our premium plugin, you can do three things, all by importing from a simple CSV or Excel file. 1. Import simple products. 2. Import variable products. 3. Edit the products by importing CSV. Let's dive in and see how it works. Step 1. Install our premium plugin by just uploading and activating the plugin. Once activated, you will find a menu WC Product Importer in the admin sidebar, with two submenu options, Variable Products and Simple Products. The plugin is now ready to use. Before we start importing, let's understand the difference between these two import types and how to prepare your data files correctly. WooCommerce supports different product types simple products as well as variable products with multiple variations on attributes like size, color, or material, like a t-shirt available in different colors and sizes. Our importer plugin handles both types through separate submenu interfaces optimized for each product type's specific data requirements. Step 2. Preparing Import Files The most crucial step for a successful import is preparing your data file correctly. The plugin accepts CSV, XLSX, and XLS formats. You can download the template file with dummy data from settings page. Let's look at how to structure each type of file. For simple products, your file needs these essential columns. 1. SKU, a unique identifier for each product. 2. Name, the product name customers will see. 3. Description, the full product description. For a regular underscore price, the product's standard price. Additional columns that are highly recommended include 5. Short underscore description, a brief summary shown in product listings. 6. Sale underscore price, discounted price, if applicable. 7. Stock, available inventory quantity. 8. Images, URLs of product images. 9. Categories and tags, helps organize your products. 10. Weight and dimensions, important for shipping calculations. If you are trying to import variable products, it requires a different structure. 1. Parent underscore SKU, identifies the main product. 2. Variation underscore SKU, unique identifier for each variation. 3. Parent underscore name, name of the main product. 4. Attribute underscore name 1 and attribute underscore value 1, for example, color and red. 5. Attribute underscore name 2 and attribute underscore value 2, like size and large. 6. Price, the price for this specific variation. 7. Stock inventory for this variation. Each variation of the same product shares the same parent underscore SKU but has a unique variation underscore SKU. Closely examine dummy data in the sample template file. Notice how in this example, all these rows share the same parent underscore SKU t-shirt var but each has a unique variation underscore SKU that combines the parent SKU with the specific attributes. Step 3. Importing Simple Products Now that we understand the file structure, let's import some simple products. Navigate to WC Product Importer Simple Products in your WordPress admin. Here's our import interface. Click Choose File and select your prepared CSV or Excel file. 
If you're using a CSV file, select the appropriate delimiter, typically a comma. You can also decide whether to update existing products by checking this box. If checked, products with matching SKUs will be updated with new data. If unchecked, the importer will skip products that already exist. For image handling, you have two options. Use image URLs from file import images from the URLs in your file. Skip image import ignore image data during import. I recommend using URLs for a complete import. Once everything is configured, click upload an import to begin. You'll see a progress bar showing the status of your import. For larger files, this may take several minutes. Once complete, you'll see a summary showing successful imports and any errors. You can review any issues here and address them in your import file for another attempt if Step 4, Importing Variable Products. Now, let's import some variable products. The process is similar, but the file structure is different. Navigate to WC Product Importer Variable Products. Again, select your file, choose your delimiter if using CSV, decide whether to update existing products, and select your image handling preference. For variable products, the update behavior is slightly different. When update existing products is checked, if both the parent underscore SKU and parent underscore name match an existing product, that product will be updated. Variations not included in your import file will be automatically marked as out of stock. Click Upload an import to begin. The importer processes variable products by parent SKU, creating or updating the main product first, then handling all its variations. Once complete, you'll see the results summary. Variable products often take longer to import due to their complexity, especially when they have multiple variations and attributes. 5. Verifying imported products. After importing, it's important to verify that your products imported correctly. Navigate to WooCommerce products to see your full product list. You can sort by date added to easily find your newly imported products. Let's check a few to make sure they look correct. Here's one of our simple products. Check that the name, description, price, and other details match what we expected. And here's a variable product. Notice how it shows all the variations we imported. Click on Variations to see and edit each specific variation. Each variation has its own SKU, price, stock level, and attribute combinations. Make sure everything is imported correctly. If you found this tutorial helpful, 
please like and subscribe for more WooCommerce tips and tutorials. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Happy importing, and thanks for watching.